two of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. That's all. That's what I love. Yo, come on, man, I can't have shit! When they pulled the dead body from the playground, that's when they knew that Sarah, the seven-year-old, was a serial killer. Mm -hmm. Look, baby, I can't read all that shit. Don't worry about it. What in the world? Oh! <laughs> Real fat, I can make it fatter. Wanna see a magic trick bend over backwards? Meat to meat, water. water. Yeah. I lost weight. This. Like, it blows my mind that I used to walk around with these honkers. <laughs> like, no wonder my back hurt 24 7. I don't care what anyone says. This was not comfortable. My back was in constant pain 24 7. 24 7. This is a 46 triple D. I don't really know if this was my proper cup size. I feel like it was probably bigger because I was always spilling out because I could never find an appropriate bra size. And now I'm like a 36, 34 double D. I still got some ammunition, but it's much more manageable. Like, I can't even imagine having this back on me now. Like, I'm so happy they're gone. And so is my back. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about periods and BV or bacterial vaginosis. I just got my period, so I felt like it would be a good time to talk about their relationship because there is one. The pH of your vaginal microbiome is usually around 3.8 to 4.5 on the pH scale if it's in a protected state. And what that means is that your vaginal microbiome is dominated by protective microbes like lactobacilli. When you get your period, when you're menstruating, blood actually has a higher pH than the natural acidic environment of your vaginal microbiome. It's about 7.4. So during your period, your vaginal pH is usually higher and more alkaline, which means that if you have a heavy period or a longer period, it can create an environment that would allow certain pathogens to multiply, like Gardnerella, or other disruptive microbes related to bacterial vaginosis. So yes, actually hormonal changes like menstruation can increase your risk for BV. I'm gonna rip you apart. Since you got your degree and you know every fucking thing,
Y'all really are obsessed with me. All right, girly things your mom should have taught you, shaving down their edition. All right, this is not an embarrassing question, but basically what I recommend is practicing shaving on your knees. I say this because it's kind of hard to shave your knees, and I feel like that's the place like a lot of people cut themselves the most. So once you get good at that, then I would say, okay, go try, you know, shaving down there. So let's pretend this is your vagina um, and you're shaving it. So I recommend using a shaving cream or soap so that the razor works best. I shave in the shower. A lot of people start off shaving in the bathtub. I feel like it's easier because you're already in the water and you can kind of lay down and see what you're doing better. Also getting a razor with one of these little strips helps you shave better because it's like a smoother shave. So when you're shaving, obviously I can't do it this way because I kind of just go like around it and then like I'll pick up one of the lips and like go in slow, slow, gentle. And then for like this part where it's like i kind of just i do it faster than most people probably should i have cut myself before but you know i survived so <laughs> when i first started though i did take my time i'd be like okay but now i'm like <laughs> so you'll get better at it <laughs> the hardest part for me is like the bikini line honestly so i just kind of go on the side slowly and then down um, sometimes I feel like I have to go this way to get, like, those weird straggle hairs, but, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Try to go, like, with the grain, though. But if you start going the wrong way on your pubes, that's when you get those nasty ingrown hairs, and I feel like those hurt so bad. <laughs> Side eye. Side eye. Come on, I must have been sorry. It's time to go. Oh, I'm a star! Please, I'm a star! Since you got your degree, and you know every fucking thing. I try not to kill myself. Dicen que el grano... Vale, va. boyfriend ain't gonna work. I try not to keep myself. <gasps> yes, Robert. What do you want now? More money, a check, a car, my soul? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. This is a dark psychological trick to say if somebody likes you. So you have to cry. It's a bit dark, but it works. If they feel bad and try to comfort you, they like you. But if they get distant or annoyed, they don't. People say she's bad, but they don't see the way she is with me. P is for the pain. She
how the other person thinks and how they see the world. Two, create rapport by breathing in the same time. 